Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to set up FHJ on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So let's start. So as you can see, this is my article. So we are going to follow this article. So first of all, here you can see we have successfully launched one instance. The operating system is Ubuntu and we are successfully uh, connected to our terminal. Okay. So now let's start. So first of all here to, in, uh, to set up Apache. So the first step is install Apache. So to install Apache, we need to update our system package. So the command is here, sudo apt get update or you can use sudo apt update. So let's update our system package. So it's done. So let's clear the screen. And now the next step is install Apache. So run this command to install Apache package on Ubuntu. So the command is here. So let's install Apache. So yes, I want to install Apache. So it's done. So let's clear the screen. So it's done. We have successfully installed Apache. So to verify, here you can see, to verify Apache installation, we need to open our web browser and we need to copy our instance IP to verify. First of all, we need to copy our instance IP and go to your favorite web browser and paste the instance IP and hit enter. And you can see Apache 2 default page and it works, you can see. So this is the default welcome page used to test the correct operation of Apache 2 server after the installation on Ubuntu system, you can see. Okay, so you can see other, uh, this is the, you should replace this location that means this is the default location that page located at this location where www.html index.html, right? So that's the default location. So you should replace this file. If you want, you can replace this file. Okay, so let's start. So we have successfully installed Apache. Now, the next step is configure your firewall. So how to configure here, you can see. Check the available UFW application profile. So to check, you can see the uh, command to check sudo UFW app list. So let's check using this command. So is the available application, Apache, Apache full, Apache secure and open SSH, okay. Now, the next step is let's enable the most restrictive profile that will still allow the traffic you have configured okay so that's why we need to run this command okay rules updated okay now to verify let's check the status verify the changes As you can see, status is inactive. So how to act, uh, how to change uh, the status? So we need to run this command: sudo ufw enable. Yes. Now let's check. Let's run the command: sudo ufw status. Now you can see the status is active, and you can see the changes. Right here, you can see the action and form allow. Right. Okay, the rules updated. Now let's clear the screen. Now the next step is managing the Apache process. Right, okay. So here you can see now uh, that you have your web, browser, web server 
a pen running so let's go over some basic management commands that means stop start restart reload enable disable and so on so here you can see to stop uh, to stop your apache server so how to stop the command is here sudo systemctl stop apache okay so first of all Firstly, let's see the status. So how to check the status? So the command is here. So system CTL status. So here you can see the status is active running. Okay. Now I want to stop my Apache server. So how to stop this a command is here sudo systemctl stop apache2 okay so let's check the status you can see it's dead inactive that means we have successfully stopped our apache server now we need to start so how to start so the command is here sudo systemctl start apache2 let's check the status you can see the status is active running okay it's done now let's clear the screen now after that here you can see a reload command so if you are simply making configuration changes apache can often reload without dropping connection so to to do this use this command so let's run this command okay it's done after that here i'm going to run this to re-enable the service to start up at boot. So for that, I'm going to enable my Apache. So okay, it's done. Now if you want to check the status, then you can check. Okay, it's running. Okay, now it's done. Now let's clear the screen. So that's the basic commands to stop, start, reload, and uh, status commands. Okay. Now the next step is setting up virtual host. That means here you can see this is your default page, right? Apache to default page and the location is here. And you can see you should replace this file. Okay. So that so here I'm going to create new file, new default file, right? Okay. So that's why setting up virtual host. So let's settings. So first of all, we need to create directory for your domain as follows. So here I'm going to create new directory here in this location slash where www and here we need to enter your domain name okay so first of all let's check this default page right so the location is here so let's copy the location and let's check the default page And if I run the ls command, so you can say index.html, right? So I'm going to check index.html using cat command. And you can see the code, right? So it's our default page, right? You can see the code. Okay. That's our default page that you can see here, right? Okay. Now let's clear the screen okay now i'm going to create new directory here right in this location slash where slash www and my domain name okay so let's copy the command sudo make directory slash where slash www and your directory name okay so my directory name will be devops it I'm going to create new directory in this location. Okay, it's done. If you want to check, then you can go to cd slash var slash www and ls command and you can see devops scene. That HTML is default by default and that devops scene that we have just created. Okay. Okay. Now let's clear the screen. After that, the next is here you need to run this command to assign ownership of the directory so let's run this command and 
here is our uh, directory name. My directory name is DevOps Hint. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is to permission of your web root should be correct. If you haven't modified your the uh, values, we need to set default permission. So for that, for groups and so on, we need to run this command to permission to give this permission. Okay, it's also done. Now, next, we need to create index.html page, right? That you can see, this is the default page and this is the index.html page, right? So like this, we need to create index.html page. So for that, here we need to open this file location. And in our domain, we need to create index.html page, right? Okay. And here we need to paste some HTML code. So you can see here, here uh, create some sample code. So you can see the title name, welcome to DevOps hint and uh, the message is success and welcome to DevOps hint and it's working. Okay, now save the file. As you know how to save, control X, Y for S, then enter. Okay, now it's done. Now, the next step is here. Now the next step is here. Make a new one at in this location. We need to uh, make some new configuration file in this location. So let's open the file using sudo nano editor. In this location, our domain name devops hit dot config this is a configuration file and here we need to add this lines in our configuration file and here make some changes so first of all here Enter your server name. So our server name is DevOpsin, that's our domain name. After that, www. your domain name, DevOpsin. Then document root. Here also we need to enter our domain name. Okay, it's done. Now save the file and exit. Now after that, we need to run this command here. Now enable the file with this tool. We need to run this command to enable our file. And our domain name is here. Devopsin. Okay, it's done. To enable this site, we need to run this reload command. Okay, so run this command sudo reload apache2. Okay, it's done. Now it's done. Now here, if you want to check it's done or not, then you can run this command to check. If it is correct, then you can, uh, you will, uh, will have the ma uh, message okay. You can see syntax okay. Now, that means it's correct. Okay. Now, it's done. Now, the next step is we need to restart our Apache because we, know, uh, we make some changes in configuration file. Okay, it's done. Now, let's check the status once. 
ओके इट्स एक्टिव रनिंग ओके नाउ इट्स डन नाउ कैन टेस्ट दिस बाय नेविगेटिंग टू योर डोमेन नेम दैट मींस हियर आवर इंस्टेंस आईपी एंड देन आवर डोमेन नेम देन वेयर यू विल सी द चेंजेस सो लेट्स चेक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर लेट्स कॉपी द इंस्टेंस आईपी then hit here and that's the default page right and after that here as you can see here we need to enter our instance ip after that colon and our domain name okay colon then our domain name is devops end so let's say ओके सॉरी वी नीड टू डिसेबल द डिफॉल्ट साइड सो लेट्स डिसेबल दिस डिफॉल्ट फाइल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिकॉज सॉरी 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 ओके वेट 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 ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी योर दिस इज अवर डिफॉल्ट पेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू डिसेबल दिस डिफॉल्ट पेज राइट बिकॉज वेन वी वेन वी हिट एंटर द इंस्टेंस आई पी ऑन अवर ब्राउजर देन यू कैन से दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट पेज राइट बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू डिसेबल दिस डिफॉल्ट पेज राइट सो हाउ टू डिसेबल सो हियर इज द कमांड टू डिसेबल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज डिसेबल दिस डिफॉल्ट पेज okay you can see a disabled now you can see to active new configuration you need, you need to run this command so okay so let's run this command to reload let's check okay now let's check the status okay it's running okay now let's copy the instance ip and let's paste in browser okay you can see a success welcome to devops in and it's working right and here is, you can see the title welcome to devops in and this is default page right but here i'm going to refresh this and you will see the message right because here with this command here with this command we have a uh, default or uh, disable this default page right okay that's why they give us error because uh, the default page is enable okay so that's it so if you want to setting up the uh, virtual host so you can uh, run this command so it's but it's optional if you don't want the default page is enable okay so that's the setup apache on ubuntu so thank you for watching